Let's look at the slicing algorithm now. If you are working with live drums, this will be one of the algorithms that you use the most. So let's time correct some drums, but first let's listen to what we have. Okay, it's not very tight, but we can work on that. Now the first important step before doing any kind of editing on an instrument that has multiple mics is to group it, group them and enable group editing. The reason for that is that there will always be bleed, in our case from other drums. So if I solo this kick out, you will see that it picks up the other drums as well. And that goes for everything. Snare bottom. So you want any edit that you make to be applied on every track. So we are going to group them together. Two ways of going about it, either select all of them from here and go on group or command 2 or X to bring up the, uh, the mixer, select the tracks that you want, then click on group and then group 1. Right click on it, open group settings, this window will pop up. Let's rename it to drums and let's bring up the settings. Now from all of these, because we get a lot of options here, we really need the first two. Editing, which will select all the tracks in the group when I select one of them, and any edits that I make on it will be applied on the whole group. So let's see, if I select one, it will select all of them. If I try to move one, it will move all of them. And uh, let's say I use the mirror key to split them. Let's split the hi-hat. It will split all of them. So that way we will avoid phase issues. And the second one is the quantize locked, which will define whether or not an edit group will be phase locked or independent when we use the quantizing option. So we definitely want that one. The rest we don't really need, so I'm going to take them off for now. And uh, let's take the queue off. So there are two ways of going about it. You can either go in and manually fix everything, which offers the benefit of not quantizing certain sections and leave them as they are in order to feel more human. Or you can simply just use the quantization option up here. Now let's try both. Let's turn on flex for starters. And for once, it went the algorithm that we actually want. Let's make the waveform a bit bigger so we can see what we are working with. Now, in this case, we have a bass. So it is more important to me that the drums are locked with the bass rather than with the metronome. So I would favor the bass rather than the click. And since, you know, this rhythm is driven by the kick and the snare, I will probably fix, uh, you know, focus on that one. And when I use the quantize option, I would turn the Q reference on for these ones. So I don't want to go to the room and then the overheads and start fixing there. No, I'll just do these two. And since it's a group, the, the rest of the edits will follow. Okay, let's have a listen. Let's turn the click one as well. Now this snare sounds good to me. But as you can see, it's a bit before the beat. I would probably leave it and then just fix that one. Make sure that the this kick is right on the beat. Yeah, I would fix that one. Uh, maybe pull this one back now. Let's see. I will definitely fix those snares here. Let's have a listen again. Mm -hmm. So let's get the snare. Now that's a, that's a bug. The only bug I have found so far. I just click on it and it doesn't happen. It might take a few. Sometimes the middle one will be missing. So. I am on 10.7.2, so bear in mind that it might be glitchy. Let's put them on time. 
Let's use that one here. I'm going to remove that one and that one. Okay, let's do the kick as well. Okay, let's do, let's listen from the beginning. Mm, okay, let's see, let's do from here. It's not very, very tight with the bass, so let's have a listen and see what's up down here. So, mm, I can see that certain sections are not, you know, very, very tight with the bass. Now, the kick comes in a bit earlier than the bass, so let's have a listen to this one. Gee, that sounds strange, and I would probably go in and fix the bass in this case instead of the, the drums, so let's do that. Why not? Monophonic. Okay, let's move that one here. Let's have a listen now. Much, much better. Okay, let's do the snares as well. Okay, that's fine. See, that's the glitz, and now that's missing, but if I grab it and move it, it would be all right. Uh, let's do those. And then do the bass as well. Let's move the bass here. That should be all right. Let's have a listen. Without the click. This that has a human element to it. It still feels a bit out of time, which makes it more human, but it's still, you know, now it's tighter with the bass. And I've heard something weird here. Yes, it's the kick. Of course, we have to fix that one and let's delete that. Okay, and that will happen or with hi-hats, it's the most often I see that it happens with hi-hats. So you have to manually go in or sometimes it will just cut the attack and you'll have to fix it manually. So no worries, you know how to do that. Great, okay. Now let's undo everything. So reset all flex markers. I said all. There you go. And now let's try and do that with the quantize option. So I need the kick out and snare top. So these are the two that drive the rhythm. So I need everything to face lock with that. That would be the leader. And the shortest note that I have is a 16th note. So let's try that and have a listen. So quantize and then 16th note. Let's listen to that. Very, very tight, very mechanical, but as you can hear, there are a few artifacts. Ah, there's one. Just around here. Yeah, it's, it's this hi-hat. Yeah, the one I told you will happen. So what you can do in this case, and this will happen a lot, especially if you automatically quantize it, you can just go in, grab it. So that's the beginning of this note. And then simply just move it here. And let's have a listen now. Better. Another glitch. This didn't move with the rest. So let's have a listen. Again, 
again a few artifacts here and you will have to go in and manually fix them like we did on that one but that's the process behind it so let's have a listen again with the click yeah much much tighter I would personally go with the manual way because I can leave certain sections out and it kind of keeps that human element of being slightly out of time at certain sections but it also depends on the kind of music that you do uh, let's say it's a hip hop track or something electronic or something pop with heavy electronic elements then you need it to be as mechanical sometimes as possible or if you do rock or whatever you know it needs more of a loose feel just fix the big hits and do not quantize everything. Uh, the last thing that I want to show you and haven't looked at that so far is that if I right click and select slice at flex markers or slide at transient markers, that will split up my region. So let's do that now. And as you can see, it slices up everything. So I've got kicks and snares and since this is uh, in a group, if I move one, it will move everything. So let's have a listen. A bit choppy so I can grab let's say that snare here and then move it here I can grab that kick and move that one here very very bad example but you see where I'm going with that and it's really that's quite helpful if you have uh, if you're keeping samples so you can just quickly you know right click and slice at flex markers or transient markers and then you can just grab the sample or the whole area and just move the whole thing to wherever you want and that's a cool little trick and that's it for drums editing and i will see you in the next one